Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about Bieta and Victosa again in the literature that was presented by Ralph DeFranzo at uh, the uh, meeting, 70th anniversary of the American Diabetes Scientific Session meeting in Orlando last year. And so he directly hits all the questions that we all have. Are there any long-term effects uh, to increasing the level of GLP-1, and that is Bieta, or it is Victosa? They both are in the same class. But the answer is, after five years of Bieta and less than that, but a lot of years of looking at the Victosa, we don't find anything bad happening at all. Yes, there are black boxes, but they were put in there because of uh, lawsuits that were taking place that were found to be foundling, found to be anything uh, bad in there? No, we didn't find a thing. So they both are in a range in the levels and the duration of testing that indicate there's no such problems that have arisen. So five years at least, and maybe some more when you think about some of the research studies that weren't added in, and it's very healthy for you. So we are looking totally at approaching everything that would be much better within the framework of using these agents initially quickly as we have over the last five or six years to get into a place where you don't have diabetes, you aren't currying the favor of the complications that are coming. And in fact, we see a lot of complications reverse when on these products. It's your time.